Apex is Airwolf 3D's custom slicing software that utilizes basic and advanced functions to convert STL 3D models into the G-code files that the printer needs to produce parts. This powerful tool, when partnered with the Evo Additive Manufacturing System, is a key component to having a successful 3D printing experience. Throughout our lessons, we will use Apex as our slicing software. To start, we will use the basic functions of Apex to ensure you have a great 3D printing experience. If you have not already, visit airwolf3d.com to download the latest version of Apex. If you have a previous version of Apex installed, make sure to update the software to ensure you have the latest changes and improvements. When opening Apex for the first time, you will be prompted to go through the first time run wizard. Hit next. Now choose the series of printer you are using, in our case the Evo series. Then choose the printer type. The model of Evo we are using is the Evo 22. Select your printer configuration in the select your printer section. When you are ready, select finish. Apex will now finish the setup and the main window will open. A pop-up window displaying the latest updates will appear. This is displayed to show the latest bug fixes, improvements, and enhancements to Apex. Hit OK. You will see a sample print correctly oriented in the main model window of Apex. This window serves as the main object view window and will allow you to not only orient parts correctly, but will also allow the user to scale, rotate, multiply, mirror parts, and many other options. To assist the user in printing successfully, Airwolf 3D has spent countless hours perfecting the settings used to achieve not only excellent quality, but also use a variety of materials and printing characteristics. The Quick Print Settings menu in Apex on the left-hand side of the object browser will give you enough flexibility to create your part the way you need, but will also take out the overwhelming guesswork it takes to use other software. First select the filament type being used, in our case we are using ABS. Select the print quality desired. Airwolf 3D recommends starting with standard or precise for the Evo before moving on to other print quality settings. After selecting the filament type and quality, choose which nozzle you are using, primary or secondary, then choose the nozzle size. It is recommended to use the 0.5mm nozzle that is standard on the Evo and Evo R machines unless you are using the larger Evo 22, which in that case you would be using the 0.8mm nozzle. Select the strength of the part you would like to produce. Medium gives the part good part strength while still maintaining acceptable print times. You can experiment with strength and can use different settings depending on the type of part you are producing. For larger parts, chamber heat can be turned on to help with warping, but leave them off for now. Support material must be turned on if you are printing a part that features overhangs, but for now, leave them off. Support will be talked about in much greater detail in future lessons. Leave adhesion set to standard. You now have the option to print the included sample print or print an STL file of your own. To print your file, click on the Airwolf 3D sample print and press delete on the keyboard. This will clear your object browser, which also acts as your virtual 3D printer build plate. Import your file by selecting File, then Load Model File. Browse to the file you would like to import. Make sure the file is optimized for 3D printing and is saved as an STL file type. Apex will load your model into the object browser. You will now have to analyze the part and decide which orientation will work best for quality, reliability, and speed. These topics will be discussed in further lessons, but it is recommended to find the largest flat area of the part, as this would provide a stronger base and give better adhesion to the bed than other areas. Click on the part to bring up the Rotate, Scale, and Mirror tools. Rotate will be used to orient the part correctly. After clicking Rotate, click on the circle surrounding the part and drag until the area of the print you would like to use as your base is at the bottom. You can press and hold the shift button while moving your mouse to move in smaller increments. Scale can be used to increase or decrease the scale of your part. To scale, click the part and click in the scale window and delete the numbers to replace them with your desired values. This can be handy if you are having tolerance issues with your prints.
This M3 screw will not fit in the 3mm hole due to the shrinkage of the material. Before moving on to save the G-code file, we must first preview a digital remake of the print in the Layers view mode. Now click on the Eyeball View Mode icon and select Layers. You can preview the entire printing process by moving the square in the right-hand scroll bar up and down. You want to make sure the part has a large, flat first layer to ensure proper bed adhesion. By previewing the layers, we can make sure these problems are eliminated before wasting time and material. After ensuring proper part orientation and previewing the layer view mode, you are ready to print. Go to File, Save G-Code. After saving the G-Code onto your USB drive, it is ready to be inserted into the Evo for printing.